It is with great pride that I introduce the Benilde St. Margaret's graduating class of 2022.
Well, good evening, everyone. What a glorious evening. We've been blessed for sure, for sure. Yes, yes. I'm Adam Ermintrout. I'm the president at Benilde St. Margaret's. And on behalf of our faculty and staff, I'd like to thank our, I'd like to welcome our parents, our family members, our friends, and of course, our graduating class of 2022. This, this evening, we're all very fortunate, whatever our role is, because we get to stand alongside these graduates and celebrate a real milestone in their lives. And to get to, these, to this point, each of these graduates has had to rely on their faith, no question, but they've also had to rely on many others along the way, family members, coaches, mentors, friends, and um, I'm guessing many of them are here tonight and probably more are watching at home as well. And I just want to express my gratitude to all of those who have helped raise these young men and women that you see before you tonight and become the people that they are here. And uh, yep. go ahead. Yeah. A special acknowledgement goes out to our alumni here tonight. They're carrying on the Red Knight tradition as parents. They've long been a part of our community, and now they carry on that legacy, and we're expecting our alumni here today to do the same, let's say, maybe 15 years from now or so. To, maybe longer. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> to all of our parents, uh, you've, you've consciously invested a lot of time and energy and emotion into these students, you've known that a BSM education is really an exceptional investment. And you've, you've wrapped your arms around the holistic learning philosophy. You've wrapped your arms around the idea of community here. And you knew the impact that it would have on the lives of your sons and daughters. And you've seen the ups and downs throughout adolescence. I'm sure of that. So parents, tonight, just simply sit back, relax, and enjoy this moment. And to the unique class of 2022, you are certainly unique. You've had quite a ride through your high school experience. Um, I've said this before about, about you guys. I've appreciated your leadership at many different points throughout your experience. And um, that leadership is going to be called upon again. As you go out into your next chapter, people will tap you on the shoulder to lead. And as part of the Red Knight legacy, you're expected to. But the beautiful thing is, I absolutely know you're all up for the challenge. So congratulations to the class of 22. Let's have a nice celebration tonight. Next, Mr. Mike Jeremiah will deliver our prayer for the class of 22. Prayer truly serves as the foundation of all that we are here at Benilde St. Margaret's. So it's only right that we begin this night knowing that we are in the holy presence of our God and of each other. And we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Loving God, as we come together here, we gather on holy ground, ground made holy by your presence. Tonight, we celebrate not only the work and the achievements of the class of 2022, but also the individuals themselves who have grown together over these years under the guidance and direction of your spirit. While it is hard to let go of those who have become so special to us, who have added so much to our lives here at Benel St. Margaret's, real realize that it is also good and it is time for them to move on with new direction and new enthusiasm. We know in our hearts that the future will be better because of them, and that the good work you have begun in them will continue to its completion on the day of your son Jesus. And so we ask, especially this evening, for your blessing on these young people and on all those who have brought them to this moment. May your love and your peace be evident in our lives as we walk humbly in your presence. 
May all that we are and all that we do lead to your kingdom, for there is our treasure, there our hearts long to be. Be our strength, our hope, our love, and our life. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus, our Savior and brother. Amen. And we ask God's blessing on this night and always in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Graduates, you may be seated. Good evening, everyone. I am Stephanie Nichols, the high school principal, and it is my pleasure to recognize the students with the highest honors in academics this year. These students are recognized by a gold tassel on their caps. They fall into three distinct groups. The first group are the graduates who are graduating cum laude. These students have a grade point average between 3.7 and 3.79. Students graduating cum laude, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. The next group are the students graduating magna cum laude. They are students with a grade point average of 3.80 to 3.89. Students who are graduating magna cum laude, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Finally, the summa cum laude graduates have a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. These also represent the valedictorians and salutatorians of the class of 2022. As I read your names, please stand. The valedictorians and salutatorians will be recognized at the end. Please stand. Alexa Adams, Lucia Amont, Caroline Braun, Daniel Brewer, Anna Bush, Sophia Delgado, Robert DeMars, Sydney Dixon, Elizabeth Dietzen, Boyd Doe, Sydney Dries, Luke Felstad, Benjamin Frost, Mason Gilliand, Keegan Gustafson, Clara Halverson, Max Harrow, Emma Hain, Avery Junker, Axenia Kamisakova, Adeline Kelly, Clara Clausen, Lauren Laundry, Samuel Larkin, Fiona Lynch, Anne McGuire, Jack McGrain, Claire Mayer, Haley Nelson, Owen Omdahl, Lauren Perry, Emma Peschel, Sam Peichel, Emma Pru, Emma Pru, Avery Richardson, Tristan Sardland, Genevieve Simpson, Bailey Scahan, Carly Smithmeyer, Claire Stanley, Elijah Roman, Aiden Wallstrom, Audrey Weber, Alexa Wilgenbush, Tilly Wolf, and Emily Zagaris. These are the graduates, summa cum laude. Congratulations. You may be seated. Now if the salutatorians and valedictorians of the class of 2022 would please come to the stage stairs. First, let me introduce the three salutatorians for this year's class. These are students who earned the second highest GPA over the first seven semesters of high school. This year's salutatorians are Elena Lateral, who will be attending the University of Minnesota studying dental hygiene. Ava Montpettit, who will be attending Boston College and studying finance. And Patrick Mullen, who will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison studying finance. These are the three salutatorians of the class of 2022. Congratulations. You may be seated. 
The seven valedictorians are those who maintained a perfect 4.0 grade point average over seven semesters of high school. This year's valedictorians are Lauren Elinder, Marquette University studying nursing. Nicole Doring, Massachusetts Institute of Tech, MIT, studying chemical engineering. Kate Duffy, College of St. Benedict, yet undecided. Ryan Long, University of Southern California, studying computer science. Teddy Madden, Notre Dame, studying computer science. Charles Paris, Colorado School of Mines, yet undecided. And Sarah Ports, University of Wisconsin-Madison, studying neurobiology. These are the valedictorians of the class of 2022. Congratulations, and you may be seated. At this time, I'm honored to introduce our class of 2022 speakers. Students who were interested in speaking at graduation submitted their speech outlines in April for review. And from those, eight people were chosen to write full speeches. Those eight people presented their speech to a panel of both students and faculty to choose the winner. All of the speeches this year were absolutely fantastic, but among them, two stood out, and the group couldn't decide which to choose. They felt that both speakers represented the class of 2022 in different ways, and both of them should speak. So first, we welcome Emma Zagaris to address the graduates, followed by Patrick Mullen. Emma. Emily. Emily. <laughs> My apology, Emily. Other than the excitement of college, our eventful pet fests, and the Pasavar for prom, one thing that has kept this year interesting has been everyone's fascination with Wordle. For those of you that don't know what Wordle is, it's a daily word game put up by the New York Times where there's a new five-letter word each day and you get six guesses to try and get the right word. After each guess, correct letters turn yellow and correct letters in the correct spots turn green. Some think certain words are easier than others. Some aim to get the right answers in as few guesses as possible while others are content with simply getting the right answer no matter how many tries it takes. Much like high school, there is no one way, one correct way to do it all. Whether you started at BSM in junior high or ninth grade, we all entered freshman year a little unsure of what to expect. We were worried about having a locker, finding our classes, and hoping there was enough time during passing time. We were excited for freshman year, even though it felt like we came in somewhat blind. The year started and we took a leap of faith. The first guess, faith, F-A-I-T-H. One yellow letter, A. Definitely not as good as the first guess could have been, but at least one letter turned yellow. Clearly, there's a lot of work to be done. We entered sophomore year with a little more confidence, knowing the schedule, finding our friend groups, figuring out our classes, and eager to take a second guess. Eager, E A. G E R. The E and the R turn yellow, making three yellow letters, yet still no green ones. While eager was a good guess and a good attitude to approach sophomore year with, COVID had other plans. From online school to virtual mass, we distanced from our friends and found our new classrooms on Zoom. Well, this was not the end of sophomore year that we had hoped to have, we decided to take our third guess erase. E-R-A-S-E. -E. Finally, the A turns green and the E and the R remain yellow. A little more progress after every year, every guess. Junior year comes. At last, we're upperclassmen. 
Yet we approach this year with caution as the premonition of junior year being the hardest blooms at the top of everyone's minds. This year is full of college preparation, ACT taking, filling resumes, all while maintaining good grades. To the stress of it all, we take our fourth guess. Grade, G-R-A-D-E. The A and the D turn green and the E and the R remain yellow. Finally, it feels like some of our hard work is starting to pay off. You feel the end rapidly approaching as senior year begins. The home stretch, only two guesses remain. A year full of excitement of finishing high school, the fear of leaving, and the nerves that come with college. Throughout the year, you are nervous to take the fifth guess, but towards the end, you feel more confident. Graduation approaches, and you feel ready. The fifth word, ready. R-E-A-D-Y. All the letters turn green, finally. Whether or not we think so, we are prepared for what is to come. Each year, we were brought closer to the end gaining knowledge, and obtaining letters necessary to complete this chapter of our lives. Every day we were faced with a new challenge, and there are 158,390 five-letter words to choose from. So many opportunities to keep moving forward, to improve, and to get better for tomorrow. There were challenges and obstacles, but we came this far with perseverance and hard work, proving we are more than ready for other defiances later on. The cool thing about Wordle is that in the big picture of life, each day seems pretty small, only a single word a day, but adding those up, it's pretty significant. Some days won't be as good, maybe you don't get the word at all, and some days exceed the standards, like getting the word on the second guess. But no matter how difficult or annoying it might be today, there's always going to be another word. And thankfully, we are a few words closer to being prepared for what tomorrow has to offer. Thank you. Hello parents, family, loved ones, and members of Vanilla St. Margaret's class of 2022. As Ms. Nichol said, my name is Patrick Mullen, and I am beyond honored for the privilege of being up on stage tonight, speaking on behalf of this incredible, intelligent, and iconic class of seniors. Or, as Ms. Dahlstrom would say, the gray that has a serious issue with tardies. <laughs> but before I get started, I wanted to extend our gratitude to everyone in the stands tonight. Thank you to the teachers. We are eternally in debt because of your gift of the greatest, most involving education we could have ever asked for. To the BSM staff and administration for continuing to make crucial decisions that make Vanilla as unique and amazing as it already is. Thank you to our parents, siblings, and loved ones, especially you, Grams. You provide us with the resources, constant support, and devotion, not only needed to grow, but to thrive don't know how much we appreciate everything all of you have done for us. Vanilla St. Margaret's, home of the Red Knights, home of the one working stall in the boys' bathroom, <laughs> home of the numerous state championships, lip dub videos, school rousers, and some of the most wonderful people you'll ever meet. But most importantly, Vanilla St. Margaret's has been our home for the past four years. The class of 2022 cannot have asked for a better high school experience. Neglecting all the homework, the Zoom cameras, and those teachers that lurked in the hallways, making it their mission to call you out if you didn't have a pass. We've sprouted from grubby little freshmen who could barely navigate the freshman hallways and who thought side angle side proofs in geometry were the most difficult thing ever to the young men and women that stand in front of me today, ready for adulthood, kind of. In many people's pace, cases, BSM has been the main source of their identity. If you took Mr. Brownstein's vocations class this past year, you know exactly what your identity is. I'm gonna move that back. It's a sense of who we are. A combination of our personality, strengths, weaknesses, abilities, and so much more. Most of us define ourselves by what we're involved in, the classes we take, how well or poorly you did on the Jane Eyre test back in Honors English 10 in sophomore year, and all the things that have made the high school experience memorable. Our class is filled with dedicated students, Hardworking athletes, incredible performers, wonderful artists, an infinite list of rare and awesome people. All of these little pieces of our life puzzle come together and form who we are. But these pieces are constantly moving, changing, adapting to the world around us, as is our identity, always changing. 
BSM has provided us with so many tools to help us discover who we are. And the class of 2022 is so grateful for all the opportunities we've had to develop. But a lot of these defining moments in high school are behind us. We may not remember those tests that didn't go as planned, all the shenanigans at Wolf Ridge, how the now multiple Chief Keef concerts in the boys' bathrooms and locker rooms even got started, and we may never figure out why the IBA Instagram was banned. We're at a turning point. We're moving on to the next chapter of our lives. But that doesn't mean we have to leave our high school identity behind us. Now, I'm not saying that we all peaked in high school. We'll find that out at our class reunions. Rather, we should keep what has forever influenced our identity closest to us, as written in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, our scripture theme for this year. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. We all have our treasure maps. A few of us have found the clues, scaled the obstacles, and reached that big red X at the end of the path. But most of us are still searching for the gold where X marks the spot. We haven't quite figured out how to get there, and that's completely normal. We're only just finishing high school. So, what is our treasure? To be completely honest with you, I have no clue what mine is. And I guarantee that most of you are in the same boat as I am. But I know that what we'll treasure most from our time here at BSM are the relationships we've created and the lives we've influenced. The bonds we've developed with everyone here at the BSM community will forever make a difference on who we are. We are classmates, we are peers, we are teammates, we are friends, and we are family. The gift to forge these everlasting memories has been given to us by God. And just like him, this treasure is eternal. He made humans the only creation capable of connecting with each other at this high of an extent. It's a reflection of his love towards us. So I ask you to recognize, to cherish, and to thank the people that have truly influenced who you are. These are the pieces of your life puzzle that you'll truly find your heart with. Whether you're jumping out of your seat and ready to bolt out of Benilde St. Margaret's as fast as possible, or you aren't ready to leave your home. Forever admire the people that you've met as a red knight. With each other, we'll find our treasure. Again, I want to thank the teachers, staff, family, and everyone here tonight. But most importantly, I want to thank you, class of 2022 for making the most out of the high school experience and helping each other forge the way to our treasures. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Cammie Delstrom. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Bill St. Margaret's. And it's I am proud to present the diplomas to the class of 2022. So first row. Alexa Lynn Adams. Lauren Rose Allender. Maddox Jeffrey Alapate. Margaret Grace Amuris. Lucia Barrett Ament. Eric Antonio De La Cruz. Maximo Michael Ariola. Mason James Baldwin. Kaya Rose Ballinger. Elizabeth Ellie Rose Basil. Merrick Graf Pearson. Maxwell Louise Benning. Samuel Jason Ademic Best. 
Britton Nicole Bogan. Caroline Jenkins Braun. Elliot Michael Brill. Daniel Hayes Brewer. Anna Catherine Bush. Camden Michael Carter. Adam Antonio Carey Swanson. Olivia Marie Cashman. Hayden William Kaywood. Andrew Hathaway Clark. Riley Thomas Clark. Eleanor Melissa Clay. Abigail Eleanor Close. Grace Lindsay Cochran. Connor Jacob Couture. Maxwell James Daly. Audrey Ruth Dawson. Justin Thomas Dollum. Kate Lynn Dobbenberger. Maximilian Frank Del Gangaro. Sophia Marie Delgado. Robert Christian DeMars. <laughs> Liam DePa. <laughs> Abigail Marie Dick. <laughs> Sydney Smith Dixon. Noah Alexander Diebel. Elizabeth Grace Dietzen. Hoi Huang Do. Nicole Elisa Doring. Mitchell Holt Dockman. Brian Joseph Dahl. Carter Michael Thomas Donovan. Sydney Schuyler Drees. Claire Crawford Driscoll. Catherine Elizabeth Duffy. James David Dunn. Luke Malachi Evans. Deisha Marie Ferris. Vincent James Ferris.
Andrew Barry Fisher. Luke Daniel Felstead. Riley Weigren Flourish. Catherine Daly Foe. Emerson John Foley. Grayson Kelly Jean Fullrath. Joseph Michael Fullrath. Mason Urban Frank. Luke Douglas Ferdine. Maxwell William Freitag. David Flint Froman. Benjamin Charles Frost. Benny Lisandro Garcia Barrera. Gino John Gabriel Gotti. Ryan Andrew Guerin. Cameron Joseph Gelling. Caroline Renee Germain. Mason Scott Gillian. Cassidy Esther Ganya. Tiara Marguerite Gordon. Nicholas Stanley Graycheck. Riaja Cherie Green. Bowen Jack Grieger. Keegan Francis Gustafson. Suzanne Catherine Hokinson. William Alexander Hall. Clara Ann Halverson. Gavin George Hansen. Thomas Finnegan Herbert. Maxwell James Harrell. Gabriela Maria Hess. Isabella Shea Hishan. Ryan Mark Hamans. Bennett Eric Hillbrands. Victoria Louise Hillstrom. Emma Marie 
campaign. Sydney Grace Holinka. Charles Lambert Hauer. Daniel Olampejo Ijadimbola. Graham Lloyd Imholt. Maxwell Elias Jackson. Benjamin George James. Colin Martin Jennings. Matthew Andrew Jimenez. Margaret Elizabeth Johnson. Lula Francis Johnson. Tanike Wea Johnson Jr. Avery Fontaine Junker. Axenia Kamenchikova. Jordan Gail Kangas. Connor Joseph Cady. Colin Daniel Meyer Keegan. Adeline Elizabeth Kelly. Samuel Mark Kelm. Clara Rose Claussen. Megan Marie Kasurik. John Clark Croft. Imani Monet Laban. Lauren Marie Landry. Omar Francisco Laura Mendez. Samuel David Larkin. Elena Rose Lateral. Sullivan Christopher Lawrence. <laughs> Lindsay Elaine Layton. <laughs> Murphy Shea Lalos. <laughs> Thomas Jung Hoon Lee. Catherine Yante Lee Gilligan. Yorn Martin Lervik. Christopher Jeffrey Liebel. Ryan William Long.
Gabriela Rosa Lan. Ashton Camille Lowenberg. Eliane Grace Lowry. Fiona Gallagher Lynch. Thomas Patrick Lynch. Andrew Robert Lyons. Tate David Lister. Theodore Tobias Madden. Anne Villette McGuire. Joseph Marshall. Beckett McPherson Metz. Peter Lee McBride. Catherine Rose McGowan. Jack Warren McGreen. Congratulations, Jack. <laughs> James Douglas McLeod. Benjamin Robert McMonagall. <laughs> and feel the love tonight. Sophia Jean Melsness. Claire Margaret Meyer. Bennett Matthew Miller. Hayden Estuardo Ellison Mitchell. George Richard Mobratton. Samuel Donald Monk. Ava Soleil Monpetit. Lily K. Mortensen. John Michael Mulcahy. Patrick Halligan Mullen. Joseph Seamus Mernan. Annabella Maletti Near. Haley Lynn Nelson. Yeah. 
Lucas Scott Newman. Richard Emmanuel Norman. Connor Michael Novak. Adam Curtis Olson. Owen Joseph Amdahl. Joseph Palmer Pace. Charles Henry Paris. Gemma Lillian Parrish. Ambrose James Polly. Mason Rose Pecci. Lauren Christine Perry. Emma Jane Peschel in absentia. William Michael Peschel. Jacob Raymond Peterson. Owen Matthew Peterson. William Allen Peterson. Lillian Francis Pyhart. Samuel Maltusi Peichel. Luca Robert Platt. Owen Peter Plord. Spencer Jacobs Plute. Daniel Ellingson Porsche. Sarah Dale Ports. Emma Catherine Prue. Jeffrey Patrick Raymond. Avery Ann Richardson. Grace Vivian Riggle. Jacob Dennis Runman. Xavier Thomas Salazar. Tristan Trigg Sarsland. Thomas Elmer Sauer. Quinn Andrew Schliesman. Samuel John Schumacher. Layton Andrew Scott. Shelby Aaliyah Scott. Newt Patrick Selke. Ryan Christensen Sieber. Madeline Rose 
Rose Shannon. Michael Ian Shamsky. Michael John Sherson. Genevieve Marie Simpson. Bailey Kate Scahan. Zane Robert Slater. Shannon Joan Slattery. Carly Marie Smithmeyer. Sophia Margaret Som. Claire Ruth Stanley. Casimir Ann Stidman. Harmony Jane Sullivan. Alexandra Grace Tarnowski. Natalie Jane Tennyson. Hannah Catherine Tholen. Benjamin Robert Thompson. Theodore Calhoun Toft. Aiden Joseph Travers. Kylie Christina Trokel. Javier Francisco Trujillo. Allison Claire Van Stelton. Hannah Rose Vanio. Ruby Claire Verrett. Miles Robert Vinton. Molly Rebecca Voss. Elijah Hugh Vroman. Clara Ruth Wachter. Ava Rose Wagner. Aiden Robert Wallstrom. Luke Sullivan Walzer. Audrey Daly Weber. Riley Stoll Weedman. Edison Daniel Gordy Wellick. Cullen Patrick White. Kieran John Doyle Wickner. Alexa Grace Wilgenbush. Brady William Wine.
Sadie Eleanor Wittershein. Matilda Mary Wolf. Andrew Robert Wolfson. Brady Edward Yakish. Henna Sotiri Yeek. James Zuckman. <laughs> Emily Isabella Zagaris. <laughs> Natalia Isabel Zamorano. Mary Ryan Zavril. Angela Hope Zabracki. As you can see, we have a lot of love in this class and a lot of spirit. We're very proud of all, each and every one of you. All right, while we're waiting for the last of the graduates to be seated, um, Parents, I know you want a couple pictures with friends and that sort of thing. Please wait till students are all recessed out. You can meet down here on the, on the south side of the stadium, on the turf, if you want to take any pictures. Most of the students are going to the senior party, so please be aware that you need to hurry them along. The bus is leaving at 845 sharp, so just so you know. And finally, on behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff here at Benilde St. Margaret's, it is my great honor to present the graduating class of 2022. Congratulations.